All right, so moving on to the next segment, I will be sharing my top five NFL teams that are poised to have good NFL seasons this upcoming NFL season. So starting at number five, I have the New York Jets. Now, the New York Jets, I am iffy about them. And I said weeks ago on the podcast, they, they could have an up and down start to the calendar year 2023. They're starting, uh, their first few games is pretty rough to start off the season. And as I speak today, they have the sixth hardest schedule in the NFL this upcoming NFL season. So this team, it's it's updated, it's fresh, it's a, something new for NFL fans to look at. New York Jets fans finally have something to look forward to after a decade of disappointments, of uh, butt fumbles, uh, Mac, uh, Mark Sanchez. Uh, Rex Ryan, uh, good t- good things be- could be coming on the way for the New York Jets, but they do have the sixth hardest schedule in the NFL. They got to play the Buffalo Bills twice. You're going to see Josh Allen and company because they're in your division. You're going to play them twice a year. Uh, they had the Dallas Cowboys on their division. I think that's going to be a tough toe-to-toe game between those two teams. You got to play Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, who are the reigning defending Super Bowl champions. Uh, a possibly improved Denver Broncos team who could want to... Really go at you guys come week five after the comments that Sean Payton had for Nathaniel Hackett, former head coach of the Denver Broncos, now offensive coordinator of the New York Jets. And Aaron Rodgers threatening Sean Payton, do not talk down bad on my coaches. So that could be a fiery matchup come week five. Uh, You got to play the Philadelphia Eagles, the reigning defending NFC champions. You got to play... The other team in New York, the New York Giants, you got to play the Los Angeles Chargers, Justin Herbert and company. You got to play the Miami Dolphins twice as well. That's in your division. So the Jets could be going through some up and downs in the season, but I do believe that bright day, good days are on the way for this franchise. If they went 7-10 and 10 last year with Zach Wilson, Joe Flacco, and Mike White at the quarterback position. All three of those guys being a, a, getting their own time at the, the play for the Jets last year because all three of these guys went through injuries. The Jets were going through a carousel of quarterbacks last year, but still managed to go 7-10 and 10 despite that and despite losing their running back, Brees Hall. So, And now you add Aaron Rodgers to this young roster, an all-time great, a future NFL Hall of Famer, one of the best to do it at the quarterback position to this talented roster. And during the offseason, they also sign Alan Lazard, someone who has a connection with Aaron Rodgers. They add a speed demon and Nicole Hardman. And you also add someone that is very comfortable with Aaron Rodgers and Randall Cobb all to this offense. And you get Brees Hall back from a torn ACL. I th- And the offensive line is improved. With that scout defense uh, led by Sauce Gardner, I do believe that this New York Jets team is going to be a team to be reckoned with in the AFC this year. I think Aaron Rodgers can have that Tom Brady effect that he had, that Tom Brady had his first year with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think that he can have that impact with the New York Jets this year. So good good days are ahead for this franchise. I think they're going to have a great season. They're number five on my list. At number four, I had the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, good news for Bengals fans. Last year, Joe Burrow got hurt during uh, training camp, during practice, uh, and the calf injury is not serious. He's going to be sidelined for a few weeks, but it could have been worse. You could have lost Joe Burrow, your franchise quarterback, for the whole entire season, and your whole entire season would have been up in flames before it even started. So good news for Bengals fans that Joe Burrow is back. Bad news for anybody that's in that division. If you're a Baltimore Ravens fan, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, a Cleveland Browns fan, Joe Burrow, Joe, Joe Stacy is still there, and he's going to be ready come week one. But I do believe that the Bengals will have a good year, despite the fact that their offense is still there, their offensive playmakers is still there. You still have Joe Burrow at the quarterback position. You still have Joe Mixon at the running back position. You still have Jamar Chase, your franchise wide receiver, still out there. Still tag team along with T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd. Uh, three threat, uh, a, tri- a trio threat at the wide receiver position that has given a lot of defenses trouble over the years, still will be together. And they also upgraded their offensive line by getting Orlando Brown during the NFL offseason to uh, beef up the offensive line. So that was a great up, uh, upgrade as well. But got to address the elephant in the room. Their defense did lose both of their starting safeties, Jesse Bates and Von Bell, during NFL during the NFL offseason. Both safeties went on elsewhere to sign with new teams. 
So the during the NFL draft, they were they drafted their replacements. Uh, they drafted safety Jordan Battle from Alabama, who I do believe was one of the best safeties in college football last season. So I do believe that that's going to be a good uh, he's going to be a good player for the Cincinnati Bengals. Then they also drafted DJ Turner, uh, cornerback from Michigan, who is a solid cornerback as well. So I understand this team lost some defensive depth. I do believe they're going to have a good season. The Cincinnati Bengals are number four on my list. Then at number three, I have the San Francisco 49ers. And as a Cowboys fan, they give me nightmares to this day because right now they are the, our kryptonite in the NFL. I have to give to the San Francisco 49ers. They honestly do have the overall best roster in the National Football League. They are stacked from top to bottom. You name it, running back Chris McCaffrey. Wide receivers, they have Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, offensive line is great as well, led by Trent Williams. Tight end got one of the best in the game in George Kittle. Defensively, they got Nick Boza as an edge rusher. Uh, they got Fred War Wagner, uh, who uh, Fred Warner, excuse me, who is one of the best linebackers in the game. This defense is always scary to play against. And led by their offensive genius, their offensive mastermind, their head coach and Kyle Shanahan, they are going to be a threat again in the NFL this year. And they could possibly have Brock Purdy back on the field by week one, which is huge for someone who was Mr. Irrelevant. The final pick in the 2022 NFL draft went 7-1 as a starter, went all the way to the NFC Championship game. That's huge. And he's cleared to practice. They could truly, truly have him back by week one. That is good news for the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> bad news as a Dallas Cowboys fan but with the offensive uh with the offense full of weapons and a defense that hardly surrenders points I do believe that they will be back to having a dominant season the 49ers are number three on my list and number two I had the Philadelphia Eagles now despite losing their offensive coordinator their defensive coordinator CJ Gardner Johnson Marcus Epps TJ Edwards and Kazir White during this NFL offseason, the Eagles have rebounded tremendously, tremendously after losing all the things that I just said, and they drafted very well during the NFL draft. I think they might have won the NFL draft. Um, they had outstanding selections in the first round pick. What Hallie, uh, Hallie, Hallie Roseman is doing should be illegal. Going to get Jalen Carter, Ninth overall, someone that should have been a top five pick, absolute steal. Then you double dip and get back in uh, with your with your own first round pick. You select Nolan Smith. You uh, you form up those former Bulldogs with teammates of Nicobe Dean and Jordan Davis. All four of those players were a part of the most the most dominating defense in college football history with the Georgia Bulldogs. All four of those guys had the chemistry in college to pull it off. They're going to do it all together in the NFL. This is just nasty. Holly Roman, how do, you, how do you get away with this? And they still have one of the best offensive lines in football. After losing Miles Sanders, who did have a Pro Bowl year, they were able to get DeAndre Swift from the Detroit Lions for arguably a half-open bag of chips. And they got uh, Rashad Penny. And so I have Kenneth, uh, Kenneth G Gainwell who are all three of the price worth of Miles Sanders' contract that the Panthers are going to be paying him for, re for a year. How does Howie, Ro Howie Roseman get away with this? I don't know. They have one of the best front offices in football. They're going to be a, a dynamite team, again, led by the franchise quarterback, Jalen Hurts. Eagles number two. And then number one, I have the reigning defending Super Bowl champions and the Kansas City Chiefs. Team took some blow. This team did take some blows during NFL free agency. They did lose Frank Clark. They did lose Orlando Brown. And they did lose Juju Smith. All left during NFL free agency. But I'm not losing faith in this team as long as they have Patrick Mahomes, as long as they have Andy Reid, as long as they have Travis Kelsey. This team will be at the top of the league for a very long time. This is the beginning of a dynasty in Kansas City. Offensively, I do believe that Isaiah Pacheco will have the starting running back position this year after having a 1,000-yard season with the Kansas City Chiefs last year. Kadarius Toney and Sky Moore will step up at, in the wide receiver, at the wide receiver position and be tremendous threats for, uh, opposition, uh, for oppositions and defending defensive backs. 
Uh, I do believe that they have all, will always have a very well coached de defense, a solid defense led by Steve Spagnolio. I do believe the Kansas City Chiefs are not going anywhere. They will have a good season as well. So with that being said, those five respective teams are poised to have a good NFL season this upcoming NFL season.